Mortar shells landed on a suburb of Tripoli. They almost hit a clinic, it seems. The offensive has been raging on for over two weeks now and shelling could also be heard late night in parts of Tripoli. The government has issued arrest warrants against Haftar and UN uh, Libya envoy has warned that, that Tripoli could spark well heightened tensions in the area. Meanwhile, Germany's ambassador to UN has called for a strong resolution on Libya. Mali's Prime Minister and his government have resigned. This comes four weeks after a massacre of 160 uh, herd men by an ethnic vigilante group that shocked the nation. The legislators had discussed a possible motion of no confidence in the government because of the massacre and the government's failure to disarm militants. A spokesperson of the United Nations has said that 223,000 cases of cholera have been reported so far this year. In Yemen, nearly a quarter of the children are below the age of five. UN Secretary General said that this is three times the number of cases reported during the same period last year. He reiterated the need for controlling the epidemic. A worker managed to run away and closely escape an electrical wire which caught fire in Manchester Township in New Jersey. Manchester Police's Facebook post revealed that the wire was thought to be a de-energized when it caught fire. Police also revealed that the rain, wind and lightning and thunder were at full force which caused the transformers to explode and electrical wires to drop. A 29-year-old woman was shot dead in Northern Ireland and the police called the attack, have called the attack a terror incident. The shooting happened in a, one of the central areas of the city amid unrest which involved petrol bombs being thrown. Mobile phone footage filmed at the scene shows the bombs landing on police vehicles and bursting into flames as the local residents looked on.